Hey guys, good morning. It's Re it's Ria here. Just hopping on for a quick Gaia's guidance. A pre a pre Ria on the run. <laughs> just stopping on. Um, after I dropped Mythos off this morning, I just was really struck with um, some uh, information, Gaia's guidance. And um, what was really profound is, even though I always talk about how life is always working for us, Gaia explained it to me this morning that it's not, not that it's always only just working for us, everything we experience in our outside reality, whether it be joyous or more of a struggle or challenge, it's always working for our expansion, for our co connection to self, aiding in our self-realization, allowing all that we are to flow. But it's also always working for our alignment. Gaia life, everything that we experience is always, without a doubt, because everything is based in love and God is all and created all, everything we experience, see, feel, have through the physical experience and expression is always working for our divine alignment. And what does that mean? Aligning to our heart's energy, bringing us back to self whether it be a contrastural experience, something that we might not like, it's still bringing us to self, to question, to um, discern, is it our truth? And then when it's something beautiful or joyous and that totally invigorates us and releases our passion, that is also saying, yay, that is in direct alignment to our truth, to our heart. And that's what all of these Mother Earth heart cards were um, initially created for by Gaia, me just following spirit, not knowing where they were going to turn out, what was the bigger, um, not scheme, but the bigger perception of it all. And every message truly is a message for the day to bring something into our focus to bring us into our divine alignment. And our divine alignment the expression of that's going to look different for everyone. Like for me, part of my divine alignment is doing exactly what I'm doing right now. For someone else, it could be an Olympic champion, could be a teacher, could be a professional swimmer, could be a mom, could be a librarian, anything. But the divine alignment is always based in the purest, highest, unfiltered frequency of love that we came to experience. That's what divine alignment is. So we're all collectively connected through the base of that experience, which is love, expansion, God consciousness. But the individual expression <laughs> will look different, but it's still all based in that um, illumination of our God self, guys. And just want to swing it around to the gold room for a second. You guys all know that um, I'm creating and have created this group. I, I've got to actually open it up, but uh, people have been joining the Gold Room is exactly all about that, illuminating and expanding from that point of divine alignment. The journey never ends, so we're always like realigning, realigning. So think of it this way, guys. As we expand into a greater awareness of self, our alignment also expands. So it's a continual, ascensional journey of self-expression, the God self within us. Is that not the most beautiful thing ever? To know that really everything is working for us, but not only is it just working for us it, to teach us something, it's bringing us to our divine alignment, our heart, our heart's truth. Our heart's truth is, all of our heart's truth is based in love, but the expression of it will be individual. And these Mother Earth heart cards, guys, guidance, all bring something to our awareness that we're actually creating. So whatever card I pull for you guys today, you guys have actually brought it into your awareness in order to bring yourself into a higher state of um, your own heart's truth, your own heart's alignment. And in life, it can just seem overwhelming because we have all these different things. So the cards are great because it just brings that one focal point for you to focus on that is needed for the day. It'll be the message that is most needed and most helpful in bringing you into your alignment in the now. There's only now, even though the now is always expanding, there's only now. 
I just want to say good morning to you guys. Sorry, when I get in my little channeling state, I got to shut my eyes and ignore the comments. So good morning, guys. Thank you, Lisa. It is so true. And, and we know this. We know this. But I'm just reflecting that to you guys because you brought me into your awareness for a reason to just as a remembering, as a spark, as an activation. Good morning, Abulita. Thank you, Abulita. Please share out, guys, if you haven't, because I just think these little messages are just, you know, they'll they'll stick to those that are meant to, but you got to kind of put it out there. Good morning, Kim Sego, Beautiful Kim. Allison. Hey, James. Good morning. Thank you for joining our live yesterday. And speaking of lives, we've got like a power of three live today going on at Tender Loving Light on Kelly um, Collins site, Tender Loving Light, but I'll share it to the temple. She's hosting it as long as she can get on Zoom today. It's me, Kelly, and Caitlin Morey, and she is a phenomenal medium. Oh my God, she's so good. So we got a power of three today, one o'clock Eastern Standard Time with me, Kelly, and um, Caitlin at Tender Loving Light but I'll be sharing it out as we start so you'll be able to get on it anywhere. But thank you guys yesterday for joining. Good morning, Jennifer. Deborah, beautiful Deborah. I'll be adding you to the gold room, um, Deborah. And Faye, thank you. All right, guys, so let, let's just see what comes forth for us. It's just something as a collective that we need to bring to our awareness simply to align to our heart's truth. And you know what the best part is? When we align to our heart's energy, guys, Hence the 2020, that's the platform of aligning and creating from the heart, letting the heart lead instead of the mind, then that's exactly what you create, guys. Our world and our re reality, that's how we are the change. That's how we create heaven on earth. That's how we create, oh my God, the golden age. This just hit me, guys, the golden age. Like I think that's what Nostradamus predicted, the golden age. Hence the gold room. I never made that connection until now, guys. And it's all about that alignment, connecting, and illuminating all that you already are, guys. We don't need to try to be anything. We don't even need to learn. We just need to allow that gold to shine within, guys. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And I get little goosebumps on that. That's just like, I just, I didn't even put two and two together. And that makes complete sense. And the gold room is just for those that really want that intentional, focused uh, awareness to becoming all that they are meant to be. To live that goal, to live it within and without, as within, as without. Oh my God, that's so cool. Let's see. Anybody else? Can you add me to the gold room? So Lisa, yes, I can add you to the gold room, but the gold room is a private group and there is a membership fee um, of $20 and 20 cents. And I put it on that for, um, because of the, the whole platform creating from 2020, that new energy shift creating from the heart. So the, the gold room is an extension or an expansion of, of this, of this. I'll still, I'll still do what, um, I'll still be doing stuff on the temple of the sun, but it's for those that really kind of want that concentrated, um, experience so it's a lot of what i do on temple of the sun but it'll be smaller and more personalized so i do want to go on daily for a guidance and if you pop on i'll give you your own personal reading um just all my insights and shares i have so much so i would like to create a specific room where people really want to extract that not that i'm just throwing it out there but for those that really want to receive it and um to, to expand their light within. So it is a membership fee of $20 and 20 cents a month. Lots of live readings, lots of sharing, lots of you guys sharing your stuff, lots of you guys being able to do lives yourself and whatever you want to share, posing questions for us to intuitively channel, um, the answers to. So I just think it'll be a very beautiful, intimate, hopefully expansive, and anything goes. And I'm just trusting spirit to lead the way. So it's a room, kind of like the gold room off Temple of the Sun, for those that really want to bring that focused awareness to their own illumination and allowance. So I don't know, it's just beautiful. And I will do a lot of readings. And because it's a smaller group or whatever, you guys will have a chance to have your own individual cards pulled or little messages and also the ability to share, to practice, to um, put a, put put um, whatever insights and um, aha moments that you have there in a private setting. Because some are a little shy about going public. So it, it's providing 
like um, it's just nice platform of creating and creating and expanding from the heart and you know I want it <laughs> hey Bo beautiful handsome the handsomest man ever um, so the gold room how you how you join is just go to I'll, put, I'll post it under comments but it's just paypal.me backslash Ria Barna and I will know that it's for the gold room because it's twenty dollars and twenty cents and I will add you and um, you also are able to bring one person in to try it out for a month with no extra charge or fee. So say, Lisa, you have a friend that you want to do it with, invite them and they will be able to join for a one month period, whether it be the first month, second month or whatever, whenever you join, um, they can also join up to try it out for those that aren't, let's party gorgeous. <laughs> party, life is a celebration. Perfect point, Bo. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Life is... A celebration sorry i gotta keep it quiet there's some golfers out there life is a celebration to be lived today now and forever and all we have is the now sorry i was getting a little rowdy <laughs> and um yeah so just paypal.me and on paypal you do have the option to do um continual payments where they'll do it they'll deduct it automatically for you so just go to my site and i'll know that you guys want to be added to the gold room and if you have a friend you want to add just put their name down so that i can add them so the two cards that popped out today, I'm doing it after the show, yeah. So I'll probably do the billing period of the 10th of every month. And the 10 in itself is, because um, I know people have been joining, but I haven't added them yet, like opened it up yet. So probably the 10th. And the 10th is very, very symbolic too, because the rep one represents expanding and going on your individual path. But the zero is like the portal, the God portal of accessing and allowing all that you are. So the zero to me is a very spiritual number, unlimited potentials. The one is choosing and empowering yourself to take your path. But as we all come together, we create this greater experience and expentiate each other and individually and collectively, guys. Celebration, life, alley, yes, is a celebration to be lived today, now, and forever. And celebration is such a high frequency. It's light, it's lively, it's passionate. So anyways, that's the way life should be lived. Two cards fell out as I was shuffling, guys. This one here, I love it because this tells us that anything that we have ever experienced that caused heartache, that caused pain. See, this is a frozen... Um, heart-shaped sand on the beach surrounded by snow. The snow is all high frequency. It is the physical manifestation of spirit, snow, solidified water, emotions, solidified. So that's representing the highest frequencies always working for us to get back to the beginning, always working for us and always working to bring our bring us into our divine alignment that is showing that all the heartache all the break all the struggles all the challenges all the times we had expectations unfulfilled it has brought us to self and created this um this channel for divine to come through represented by the snow falling in the heartbreak in the disappointments that we have had as a human filling us with the truth disappointments, heartbreak, it's all based in the ego on expectations. And when those expectations or, or beliefs or paradigms or whatever it is aren't, uh, ex aren't fulfilled, we experience heartache. And then that takes us within to connect to our divinity. And that's what this card is reflecting and representing. It's always working for our alignment, our greatest good, because this heart is perfectly shaped, no matter the scars it's been through. And then we got this little higher self up here holding us. There's a piece of us that's always in spirit. It's our higher self that is always holding us, guiding us, and seeing that higher perception. And that's represented by this little guy. See the little nostrils, the smile, the eye open, and then one winking as if our heart is one with our higher self, which it is. And so I just want to, and then the other one is this one that popped out. And this is a beautiful heart um, on the side of the road with like uh, pine needles, dirt, old leaves. And this to me just showing me and showing us the beautiful formation of the heart, but how all our collective individual experience do form this greater love. It does form this greater expression of who we are. All the experience, quote unquote, feel good, feel bad, what have you. It's all coming together to bring us to where we are. And the fall leaves are even representative of harvest, time past. So everything that we've experienced in the past has brought us to the now of our fuller expression of who we are the allowance of who we are guys so beautiful and it even looks like um a little head here and like angel wings like we're 
it's time for us to expand. It's time for us to fly. It's time for us to be free and liberated in our heart's truth, in our expression, guys, uninhibited and beautiful. So just this wing, the head, the heart, look at even in this image, the heart is wide open. It's a portal. Oh my God, I have never, ever um, deciphered this in this way. The heart, see this wide open. That's our portal. That's the zero. That's the, the 2020 platform. That's the expression of the gold room, the head and the wings wide open. Oh my God. I knew I had to do my message before I exercise this morning. This is just amazing. And I'm going to read the back of this one. It just says, the answers you are seeking are in the now. Your present path will reveal what you need to know. Exactly what I was saying. We're given exactly what we need every moment of now for work to work for us, for our expansion, for our alignment to our heart. Through choosing to find the joy in the now illuminates that which you are seeking. It will appear to you. Oh my God, this is the perfect card to sum up today's message. Whatever we're looking for will appear in the now, including this card that is proof in the pudding. Because whatever message I start off with, it's inspired by spirit. Then I pull a card and it syncs up and it's the affirmation, re reaffirmation of everything that I just said. What you need to know appears for you for your greatest expansion. Look at the angel. The angel wide open, wings, transformation, liberation, and freedom to truly step into your portal, into your power, and be the highest unfiltered expression of that, creating nothing less than the physical expression of that, which is heaven on earth, which is the golden age, which is the age of Aquarius, whatever, new earth, whatever, the new Atlantis, whatever you want to call it, guys. So I just felt really inspired to share that with you guys today. Hey, Joey, I see that you, I see you're watching. I will add you to the gold room, Joey, because you've already been um, donating to the temple for a long time. And I appreciate that. And I love it. So I'm going to add your name to the gold room, Joey, if you can hear me and read my cover photo. It relates. OK, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I think if it's the one with the lion um, bow, it's very appropriate. And you guys should check out um, Bo bodacious um except well on the thing it says xavier bodacious night a beautiful beautiful private group um for healing and transformation and help that you might need with um just struggles um a, a addictive stuff all of that so check out his site uh thank you ali <laughs> you guys are also beautiful juliet thank you for joining greatness as we evolve new wings thank you and um, just one other little request. Please share out, guys, if you haven't. Thank you, Faye. No, I did not know you were going to be here, Xavier. <laughs> I say Xavier. I love that name, but Bo. I know you go by Bo. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for joining Marisol, April 11th, 1994. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you may you guys all shine with the entirety of all the light that you are. <laughs>